What is going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna make a continuation of the praying mantis video I made a while back. Well, simply because I haven't really been able to go fishing recently, and that's basically the whole entire content in the channel of the channel. So I figured since I got a lot of views with these little guys here, I might as well make an update video. And that's what I'm gonna do. This one's finishing up a mealworm, as you can see. Nice and I'm getting them all nice and fat as well. I have a total of six of them right here, and I have one, one of them is molting upstairs, so I will show a clip of that then too. I'm also going to emphasize on why that was important, because I know I did talk about that in the last video. As you can see, these enclosures are all net, these are new. These four right here are brand new. I got these because I have one of them upstairs for my other, for the males. They're, on, they're not in the video right now, I figured I'd just use a female since they're kind of bigger and stuff but as you can see these guys can hold on really good and they don't have a they have, they have absolutely no problem gripping on to the netting this is all right too because this has good grip here this has some decent grip same with this one this one's not even using it but here's this guy he's just chilling out right there if the camera will focus it is cool how much these look so much like a dead leaf. You know what I'm going to do, actually? I wish I had a cameraman because this would be a lot easier. But what I'm going to do, if I can do it, actually, I'm going to be a little smarter. I'm going to move you here real quick. Let's take a look at these dead leaves here. It looks so much like the actual mantis. So I'm going to grab this guy. Actually, no, I'm going to grab this guy. Sorry about this. I'm all over the place right now. Just gonna grab him or her. Oh yeah, this is a good one to grab because I wanted to show you guys something else that's going on here. This is actually a sub-adult female. If you guys can see where my, where's my finger? Where is my finger? Ooh, point right, right here. You can kind of see the wing buds. You can actually see the wings in there. Well, maybe because it looks so much like a dead leaf. Some of you guys might just be seeing just, you might not know what I'm talking about, but anyway, this, oh, maybe I can compare it with this one. Look at the, look at the midsection of this one. It's not puffed up. And this one's got some red in there and it's nice and puffed up. If I turn it from this angle, you can see how it's puffed up. But anyway, this one's going to shed skin soon and become an adult. The one upstairs is actually in the process of doing that. Here we go, guys. Here's that mantis after shedding its skin. It is now done. Well, it's, now it's just stretching out. But look at that. It's a full-grown one now. Its wings had to expand, but there's the skin it came out of. Now, like I said before, you can see this. Hopefully, that the light might be in the way. But you can see that mesh on the top there. And you can see where the skin it was hanging on there. That's how they do it. Now that's why that's important, because this is how they grow. And if you don't give them a place to climb, then this is where your mantis will die. But if you do that, if you, all you gotta do is get a proper cage, and if you do that, then I can't guarantee it will survive because accidents happen quite frequently with mantises. And usually it's not your fault. Like, so don't be, if you guys get a mantis and it dies shedding skin, I would not get too beaten up over it like a lot of times it's the mantis's mantis's mistake but if you do this if you get a good cage that's all you got to do to make sure it sheds skin good and of course i've got stuff in there for it to hang off of as well but this, this is the one i was telling you guys about in the video so it should it's going to be an adult here soon after it's done shedding skin but anyway i'm going to show you guys the camouflage on these these cool insects here real quick. Look at this. Do you know what? Anyway. Oh, seriously, dude, I'm trying to get a good shot of you in here. I'm just gonna bury him real quick. Don't wanna bury him, but okay, good. Just sitting there. Like look at that. If this thing wasn't moving, if this bug was not moving right now. A predator would not see that. 
That's insane. All right, I'm gonna get you out now. And like these things, you can just hang on to these leaves like this. Camouflage so well. It's insane. I love these praying masses because they camouflage so well. Look at that. And we've got a visitor. Would you like to try one of these? Would you like to try one? I'm just kidding, you're never gonna be able to eat one. Say, I would like to eat one. Aw. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so that's what's going on. In the last video, these guys were actually tiny because I recorded a praying mantis video back in like the summer. Do you need out? Hang on. Okay. So, I recorded a praying mantis video way back when in the summer and these guys were just tiny 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 but now they're actually they're almost actually full grown and it's really really cool they grow pretty fast these ones actually live a little longer than the average praying mantis uh how long did they live let me think the longest one i had lived was two years and then the other ones were like year year and a half maybe but so that's pretty cool because they live a little longer for a bug and they're kind of eyeing each other up here. It's kind of cool. But here's, I'm liking these so far. I just got these like a week ago. It can hold them very well. If you're like, I remember I made a video, a care video before. And if you guys are still interested in getting one, I would highly recommend these. Especially if you're like kind of new to this. It is just super easy. Cause like, if you release your mantis in here, it's, it's got plenty of places to climb and hide. not really hide. It doesn't need to hide. It's not too worried about hiding because there's no predators to eat it unless you're going to eat it. But anyway. Oh, you're done eating your mealworm. Well, I'm just going to figure I show that real quick. Yeah, what was this hand? Yeah, these are good. If you're starting for a pet brain mantis, I wish this would just focus. So here's all you got to do. You take your little mantis. And for a cage like this, it's ideal for bigger ones. Cause just because of the size but i like this size. i ordered this size because it's like a foot by foot so it can house a single praying mantis literally perfectly so this this guy's right here he's probably two and a half inches he's probably gonna get three to four inches once he makes his next next uh shed but this is what you gotta do to take care of him no i wouldn't recommend well actually i can't say that for these cages mealworms will work good because mealworms can't hide anywhere. Because they look, as you can see, it's just a big box of netting, so they can't go anywhere. I'll just show you all you gotta do just for demonstration purposes. Grab a mealworm. This is if you're doing, you can always hand feed them too if you're into bugs and know how you're good at it or whatever. But all you gotta do is take your mealworm, chuck it on in there, and eventually, if your mantis is hungry, I'll come down and eat it. Now he's not gonna eat that, or what am I saying? He's not gonna eat the mealworm right now because, well, like I said, I fattened them all up. All of their bellies look like this right here. So they're all fattened up. I'm trying to get them, I'm trying to get them full grown. So that's why they're all fat, but like, you don't really necessarily need them to be fat. Honestly, they're more aggressive if they're skinny, which you don't wanna starve them, but you're gonna get more entertaining feedings if you don't spoil them like I do. And I'm just doing that because I want them to get, I just want them to get big. I'm kind of power growing them to get really big quickly. Well, not quick, well, quicker than they were because I'm kind of just, they, they've taken a while to get to where they are. I just want to get them big. But yeah, say, you, say if you want to take care of one, you can order, there's plenty, you can order them online all over the place. I would personally recommend if you're gonna order one, I would go to Mant Manted Kingdom the prices are fair, and I like how they send you a backup mantis because it's a living thing, it's in the mail. It could, one of them could come dead, so they send you two in case one dies. So I like that, and yeah, it's not hard to take care of them. Like if you just want a pet, like a small pet, like a hamster or something, and you think this would be cooler, go for it. I mean, just, just look at how simple this is. Honestly, this is more com This is what I discussed in the last video. This is honestly more complex than this. I just ordered these literally, what is it, a week ago? 
and they're way more, they're easier to maneuver. You can pick them up, they're light. You open the door, you throw food in. That's about all you gotta do for it. I mean, you can spray, oh, I forgot. I guess another thing that's good for the mantis, you get the spray bottle, you'll start to sp spray the mantis to make sure it drinks. But other than that, that's basically it. And of course, the more you handle your mantis and feed it and stuff, hand feed it, I should say, because it'll, if you never really interact with it, it's just gonna act kind of wild. And I guess that's up to you. If you don't really want to hold, if you would prefer a more wild like mantis, just don't really pick it up that often. It'll kind of behave wildly. But as you can see, these guys are really super chill. I mentioned it in the last video. If you were to go catch a praying mantis, then they would not act like that. They would go crazy. But these guys are chill. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe so I can continue to make good videos for you guys. And what I mainly want is I just want people to see these videos more than anything. I can honestly, I really don't need the likes. Or they're really, I mean, I guess subscribers would be really nice to have a good bit of subscribers. But I think the views is what I'm really wanting. Because I want people to see this. Like, I mean, especially like these videos. The fishing videos, I'm like, I like to make fishing videos because, you know. I, I started making fishing videos because I I enjoy other people's fishing videos. I'm like, you know what? This is enjoyable to me. I'm going to start making some. So, you know, it'll be fun. So that's what, I, that's what I'm doing that for. I just want to see people. I want people to see them and enjoy them. Whether they like it, dislike it, don't subscribe. I, don't, I mean, yes, I prefer them to like and subscribe with any other YouTube channel would prefer that. But, like, I mainly just want people to see this. And, you know, it benefits them. Make, whether it entertains them or learn something or whatnot i just think it'd be a cool little thing to do anyways i'll wrap this video up i hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and stay tuned i'll be sure to make some more videos